great. But they want ventilators. Uh, Italy wants ventilators. Spain wants ventilators. Germany wants ventilators. They're all calling for ventilators. Well, we're going to make a lot of ventilators. In this episode, I will explain the operation of the Medtronic PB560 ventilator. If you didn't watch the previous episodes, please watch them now to be able to understand this episode. The clinician uses these buttons to configure the settings to be suitable for the patient. Then the ventilator becomes ready to start ventilation just when the clinician presses the start button. When the clinician presses the start button the CPU begins sending control signals to the turbine PCBA and the oxygen solenoid valve to make a mixture of atmosphere and oxygen used in inspiration process. Then the inspiration gas starts to flow. Note that the inspiration gas flows through the inspiratory flow sensor to measure the inspiratory tidal volume. And the inspiratory pressure sensor measures the pressure of the gas. And the proximal pressure sensor measures the patient pressure. These sensors send signals to the CPU to monitor the gas volume and pressure. During the inspiratory phase, another output gas of the turbine flows to close the exhalation valve. The exhalation valve is controlled by the exhalation solenoid valve which is controlled by the CPU. When the CPU decides to end the inspiratory phase and start the exhalation phase, it stops the airflow from the turbine and releases the air that is closing the exhalation valve. When the exhalation valve is open, the exhalation phase begins. In the next episodes, I will explain more details about each part of the Medtronic PB560 ventilator and how to manufacture it. To receive a notification when I upload the next video, please subscribe and choose to receive all notifications from the ventilator's channel. And click like and share to publish ventilator's manufacturing knowledge. If you have any questions about ventilators please write your question in a comment below.